Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Prince Automation Destination. So in our last lecture of Git series, we discussed about the best practices that we need to follow while dealing with Git. In case you are not already familiar with what are the best practices that you should follow, I would request you to please take a look on my previous video, which I'll be sharing in the eye icon. So today we are going to talk about another important topic that is stash and it is widely being asked in the interview as well. So what is stash? So stash is to temporarily store the changes while there is a command that is git commit which is used to store the changes permanently. We have used both the commands in our previous lecture. So today we are going to dive deep into git stash and we are going to understand stash at the low level. So let us try to understand where exactly we will get this particular scenario of stashing where we would need to use the git stash. So let us say being a user one, you are working on feature slash dashboard and there is a user two who is working on let us say feature slash login. Now, for example, you are on feature slash dashboard and what you are doing, you are making some changes and let us say you have made changes in multiple places. Right now I'm making it, making it at uh, one place. I'm in middle of something, let us say, right? Now, all of us are sudden, user one reached out to say you. He says like uh, to user one that I'm facing some issues. I would request you to please take a, uh, like switch to my branch and fix my issues so that uh, I am unblocked and uh, I'll be able to fix the, I'll be able to proceed further. But as you have made the changes, you don't want to lose your changes as well, right? And you are supposed to help your team member as well. Now, one way is to store one, uh, store these changes permanently, that is using the git commit. But as this is in the middle of something, so uh, we cannot commit it. Why we cannot commit it? Because committing, um, every commit will lead to have one uh, commit entry so if something is in middle of uh, something we are we should not commit it because that will create one extra entry in the history so to avoid that what we can use we can use the git stash so i'm simply typing git status right now so if i'll type in git status here because i have made the changes so i see that my file got modified so so because I want to switch to different branch, so what I will have to use, I will have to use git stash. So to stash or to temporarily store your changes, what you will have to use, will you will have to simply use git stash, right? So, so when you will type in git stash and again you will type in git status, you will see that the tree is clean. Now you can simply go to login branch and you can make your changes, you can fix the changes and add the changes commit and push and again you can come back to your branch now once you come back to your branch what will happen so in that case in this case what will happen so for example because you are now back to your branch and you want to retrieve your changes so how to retrieve your changes so simply we can use git stash apply so when we'll use git stash apply so we get the changes reverted so as soon as i click on this place i'll see the changes are reverted right now for example we we may need to add multiple uh, stash entries so in that case how we will deal so for example let us say i am simply uh, going to add one more line let us say right i am in middle of something part two and again you came into the same situation and your lead asked or you are another team member asked you to um, switch to my br their branch and fix the issues now again you will do git stash right so when you will do git stash these two changes will go away because these ch two changes are local changes so stash is to uh, remove the local changes from there from here and put them into the stash area now you will be confused which particular stash entry to be applied so for that purpose to distinguish that which one to apply you can first check the list of entries so zero being the latest one and one being the oldest one so if you will simply use git stash apply you will get the latest one but for example in case you want to apply uh, by index so you see that every stash has one index so we can use zero or one whatever you need but I want to simply use git stash apply. So if I'll use git stash apply, so I'll get the latest change, right? So this is how I can retrieve the changes. Now, because we have retrieved our changes, 
so what we can do we we want to because still if i'll check git stash list i'll see that my changes are still there but i because in the long run i'll be working i'll be doing many git stash so because i don't want to create a mess so what i want i want to clear this stash so for that purpose what we can use we can use git stash clear now if i'll see git stash list i'll see the empty list so so far whatever we have discussed we have discussed about the stashing right and now for example let us say now i type in git status because i don't want these changes because we have covered the stash already i want to cover some more part on the stash so i'm simply going to remove these changes to make a, make my tree clean right so you see that i have um, made my tree as a clean now for example if i want to let us say add one file sample so as soon as i'll type uh, a new class i'll get this particular whenever you you add new file or you add new class you will get this pop up right and which will ask you to add your file to git right if you want to add it what will and you click on cancel what will happen it will go into the untracked area right untracked meaning the git is not aware so in case you want to stash this kind of files because when you will be working in a, on a um, particular branch right so you will have untracked files as well so in this case if you will try to use git stash you won't be able to stash your changes so how to stash untracked files so for that purpose we do, we have to simply add hyphen u at the end so if i type in git stash hyphen u my this uh, untracked file also can be stashed so if i type in here this particular file will be removed so if i want to uh, retrieve it simply i'll use git stash apply so if i'll type in here so i see that my changes or my class got reverted or retrieved right so this is what i wanted to cover as part of a stash video and um, thank you for watching i would request you to please like share and subscribe thank you